Hey guys, I'm Daisho here playing some Magic, and today I am doing some more quests for Primal Surge. And, uh, last video maybe could end up being like a little bit controversial because I did get to play Primal Surge, I just didn't win with it. <laughs> um, so I'm not really sure. Oh, there's no way I'm winning this one. <laughs> See, this is what I expected it to be like. The other guy, he was on a multi five. And um, I basically had control of the board the whole game, so it wasn't really fair. So maybe we'll just keep the series going. Not really sure. And the problem is, um, I'm recording these now. I wanted to record them in advance, so I guess I'll just keep recording them. And you'll have to keep watching them, even if you think that um, that the other one should have counted. But uh, Elvis Visionary, Brad Pack Alpha, okay. I mean, uh, a big point in this deck is to try to confuse my opponents and make them never able to attack because I'll always have like a sick blocker back or something like that. Um, it obviously doesn't work if they're on the play and they're playing goblins because I'm about to take four and the next turn I'll, I guess I'll only take one since I'm beast within um, his chieftain. And... But man, Primal Surge is fun to use. It's just like, do you want to play this? Okay, yeah, I guess I'll take it. Do you want to play this? Yeah, hell yeah, I'll play that. <laughs> oh my god. This is not good. I definitely need to kill one of these things, though. Um, they were. It was adding th two power to the... I guess it was only adding two power to the board. But I'm going to... No, I'm not going to kill the other one next turn. Next turn, I'll just bribe back Alpha and kill it. But, I'm not in good shape, because I'm at like 4 life <laughs> against goblins. Makes more sense to Thornwild Archer next turn, because then I'll be able to Beast Within as well. But, um, okay, he did not have a spell for me. That is surprising. Briar Pack Alpha. Yeah, what now, jerk? Looks like you're only attacking me for 5, bringing me down to 6 against goblins. Yeah. Now I'm going to come back from that. Maybe if I draw Thragtusk, that'd be nice. But he's not going to be able to attack me anymore. For a while, at least. Unless he's got, like, Siege Gang Commander here. Uh, Gem Palm Incinerator, just casting that spell, because that's how we roll. And I drew another Beast Within, so that's the trio of them. All three of them. And, yeah. He's not going to attack again, is he? I don't think so. He, he can get in for one damage. Ugh, maybe I won't even be able to let that happen. I think I have to let it happen. Being goblin grenade, grenade range when I'm trying to get up to primal surge. Does not look like a winning strategy to me. Alright, so he is attacking with everyone. Um, so I could just be like, bam, bam, beast within. Yeah. That way I don't take any damage, and I lose one guy, he loses two, he loses three, but he gains one, so now we both have a 3-3. Three, three. And, I mean, I guess worse situations have happened, and he's playing his Gem Palm Incinerator again instead of just killing my guy. Okay! <laughs> so, my opponent may not be the greatest magic player to ever set foot on this earth, but we're just going to keep playing anyway and keep playing creatures to block, but I really need to draw some land so I can get up to my primal Surgingtons. And if he just attacks next turn, then I actually have good blocks. Because then I'll have the only creature left on the board. And he's got a Goblin Ring later. <laughs> um, just to basically shit in my face. And there's a Cranko as well, but... Goblin Balloon Brigade. That might be the thing that kills me. <laughs> Alright, well he's probably just going to attack here with everything. I guess I now know that the only card that he has in his hand... Oh, what? That attack is just... Terrible. That was the attack that I thought he was going to do. Because <laughs> he doesn't want to lose his goblins or something dumb like that. But, like, the only attack that made sense there was to bring the 3-3. Because my 3-3 just eats his. Um, Alright, I guess I pass here. And... Yeah. Just Briar Pack Alpha. But I need to deal with that freaking Balloon Brigade. 
I also obviously need to deal with Cranko, but yeah, he's gonna, so he's going to be able to attack for one and put me within Goblin Grenade range. There's not really anything that I can do about that. Um, okay, so since I didn't need to use Briar Pack Alpha, I can now um, Beast within his Cranko, and then I can Stinger Flank Spider next turn to block the Balloon Brigade. I guess I did that backwards. I should have played Stinger Flank Spider this turn, this past turn. Yeah, that was pretty bad. And then I would also be able to play Wood Elves. So um, I screwed up there, and it very well could cost me the game. But yeah, this guy has Reach, so that's why I had to play him. Um, obviously, he's not killing anything upon entering the battlefield, which is annoying, but it's whatever. Um, Siege Gang Commander, I'm pretty dead to Siege Gang Commander. <laughs> Even without his ability, I'm still pretty dead to Siege Gang Commander. And there's no more Beast Withins in the deck, so can't really see a way that I win this game. What is that attack? It's terrible. Well, I mean, I'll just trade. Like, I could just bounce, but I think I'd rather... No. No, definitely should have just bounced there, because then now I, I... Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. Well, there's Thrag Tusk. That's pretty much the best thing I could have drawn. Alrighty. Let's, uh, let's see what you got, bro. Let's see what you got. I guess he might have shock in hand and he wanted to trade the Sting Fling Spider. But, eh, I don't see my opponent as being that good. <laughs> Even though he is running 60 card goblins, like a boss. No attack? What are you doing? He's just going to shoot me in the face at end step or something. There's Yiva. Okay, you can go. Yeah, I guess I'm just dead next turn. Unless he's not going to sacrifice his goblins, in which case I am okay. <laughs> if he does not realize that Siege Gang Commander has abilities, then I can win this game. I guess I shouldn't have played around um, the other thing, that, um, Goblin Grenade, and then I would probably be in a much better position. Okay, so he's just going to attack. Um, Alright, let's see if I get a land first, I guess. Cool. Oh no! That is not what I wanted at all. I just wanted to see if I was going to get a land. Shit. I was going to play Eva and block another thing. And I'd be at five. Ew. Also, I don't think he understands that Siege Gang Commander is a card. It's kind of pathetic. And I'm going to lose too. <laughs> um, I still just play this freaking thing now. Because it would just be stupid to waste it. Even though I screwed up. Momentous fall. Hell yeah. Um, I did not need to do that right now. Well, that was pretty bad. But okay. So momentous fall will... Oh shit! I just fucking hit A too quickly. And... I'm not dead dead. But I was actually gonna gonna be fine. I was gonna draw five cards off this thing and gain five life. And now there's so many things in his deck that just kill me. War Driver is not one of them. Um, he can squeeze through what one damage here. Probably would have been worth it. Okay, so now let's not click random buttons and pass the turn. You can go and. Yeah, okay, another goblin guy. So he probably thinks he wins here. Right? So I just need to not screw this thing up. Oh no, he doesn't think he wins here. So do I momentous fall? Or do I just acidic slime him? I think I momentous fall. Yeah. That seems good. Um, okay, so now at end step, I can eternal witness back momentous fall. Um, is that the play? Do I just do eternal... What else am I going to sacrifice? I guess like a Briar Pack Alpha or a Beast Token. Let's do that. <laughs> Momentous Fall. Oh, wait. What does it do? Oh, I gain life equal to toughness. So maybe I will not want to do that. Maybe I'll want to like do it to a Stinger Fling Spider. Okay, so now I can play this for basically two mana. I know it's three mana, but don't worry about it. So I can play this thing for two mana, um, and then I have eight left over. So 
so that's not really um, a good amount. So I'd rather just play Momentous Fall and like Acidic Slime. Okay, well, I don't need to do it right yet, so we'll pass the turn. Um, maybe, no, I don't really want to kill Yiva. Maybe I just do two, two, two three, three, because I want to draw a whole bunch of cards so I can get into... Well, I guess it's only drawing one more card, but getting three more life, so... It's, or two more life, so... I guess one card is probably worth more than two life here. Okay, well, let's Acidic Slime you. And... Momentous Fall, this thing. I mean, like, Yiva was probably the right choice, but there's Primal Surge. There it is. There it is. Okay, well, I, let's actually just make sure I don't straight up lose. Actually, I definitely don't, because I don't have Overrun yet. Okay, so I do not straight up lose with this Primal Surge. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Let's do this again. Let's do it. Land. Okay. Thrag Tusk. Yay. Elder Scale Worm. Yay. Carbon Carrioted, yes please. Elvish Visionary, yes please. Um, uh, Lanzo. Are oh, he quit out. No, that this counts. This counts as a victory. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just sorry. Oh, and there's Momentous Fall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, victory. Woo! I didn't even get that much out of that thing. What did I freaking get from, from, cast, from my casting my 10 mana spell? I got like 5 lands and four creatures is that really it Ugh, the worst day of my life but <laughs> um yeah let's attack hit this and this and this and this um maybe i should have attacked with like wood elves and then just call her of the claw this turn or something like that oh my god 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 what did he just do Okay, so I can just pick up Yiva. Um, it's too bad I don't have like a plus guy. Like a fire pack alpha in my hand or something. I think I'll just um, let that happen. Like it is going to. And uh, I'd rather kill everything besides Goblin Guide. Yeah. Seems better. Um, so I lost two creatures. I guess I can call over the claw for two creatures. <laughs> um, although maybe I just want to fawn a shaman so I can definitely get my um, my my uh, my gigantomancer and then play it and then swing it for a billion damage. <laughs> but I guess I just try to win from this point. Could pick up. Um, I could pick up this thing, Eternal Witness, and go get back Primal Surge. Oh, no, that needs to happen. I'm sorry. It's just there's nothing else that can happen right now but that. <laughs> oh, that is happening. I was joking, I think, when I did it last time, but this time, hell no. This is This shit is happening. It's actually happening. <laughs> and I don't have to deck myself. I, I did not realize that originally, but um, <laughs> that is not something that I need to do. Alright, let's get some lands. Alright, I have 12 cards left. 11. Soul of the Harvest. Erratic Portal. I guess I'll leave 5 cards left. Okay, so now it says I have 7, but I really only have 6. Okay, so now... Um, sorry, Wood Elves. We'll exile you. Uh, no. No. Ooh, a true Jack Animancer. Yay. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Gigantomancer. And then one of these five cards has to be, uh, has to be overrun here, right? Has to. I just want to swing in for four billion damage. I really want to. Yeah. Something here has to be overrun. Unless, what was the spell that I lost? That was Momentous Fall. There, there's just got to be an overrun here. And I could, by the way, I could Primal Surge yet again. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> um, but I don't 
I don't know if I have it in me to. Like, there's four cards left in my library. Is it really, really worth it? But I was surprised that, like... Remember when I said at the beginning of this game that I was going to lose 60-card goblins? And I should have. I mean, my opponent was terrible, but... Um, yeah, I wish I could... You know, I could... I should be able to draw my card for... Oh, there we go. We got over on, guys. We got it. Um... Alright, let's overrun. And then let's make him pick up one thing. Uh, you. And he's gonna pay for it, blah blah blah, and now you. Oh man, but now I might not have enough to make all my creatures seven. Shit! Oh no, I screwed up! I was supposed to make all my creatures seven sevens before I did overrun. Oh no, now I have to do the whole thing over again. Damn it. This sucks. So you're really trying to figure out the best way to block in this situation? I'll give you a hint. It involves not blocking. <laughs> um, okay, you become 7-7, seven, seven, and you become 7-7. Seven, seven. I'm just playing against the computer right now. I guess that's good, because I would feel bad if I was playing against a real person. That would just be, like, I would just feel like a jerk right now. And, uh... Let's have you become a 7-7. Seven, seven. And you... Alright, well, let's just... Oh, wait, I think I missed. I can't even pause the game anymore. <laughs> like, I'm not even playing online, and I can't pause the game anymore. Uh, oh, well. I guess we'll just ride it out and see what happens. Yeah. He is... Uh, He's taking some damage. He's so glad that he double blocked my uh, <laughs> my eternal witness. Oh man, did I really only take him to minus 93? Because I don't even think that's my record. Although I did swing for over 100 damage in that turn. So that was pretty awesome. I definitely think that that was fun. And um, I'm just going to give you a little hint that something similar to this may be coming in the future. And I'm not sure it's going to be quite as easy to do as Primal Surge, which apparently I was able to cast in two out of the three of the games that I played. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and have a nice day. Bye.